pretty severe weather situation out there this morning. It involves wind and rain, a lot of power outages, some schools delayed. Those are at the bottom of your screen. Michelle has more now on the weather. Yeah, that information is constantly coming in this morning, Patrick, and we're continuing to monitor uh, both the wind and the rain in real time here. So I want to give you an update on some of the peak wind gusts we've had reported so far with Blue Hill Observatory still the peak one at 75 miles per hour. North situate with a 62 mile an hour wind. TF Green Airport at 56 mile an hour wind gusts. And even out on the Cape now, they're seeing wind gusts of around 60 miles per hour. That's being reported in Barnstable. You combine that with these torrential downpours, it makes for very difficult conditions for drivers and pedestrians this morning. As you take a look over the Providence metro area, any yellows and oranges that you see, and we see that right along 295, that's where the rain's coming down in buckets, and that's going to lead to localized street and poor drainage flooding. West Warwick getting very heavy rainfall this morning. As we widen out the view, we see another line that's just crossed out of the East Bay of Rhode Island and passing now over 195 through southeastern Massachusetts, and the Cape starting to get into some of those very heavy downpours. What I also want to point out is that as we look to our west. You can see that the heaviest of the rain over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts right now, wind and rain starting to taper off already across western Connecticut as well as Long Island. So your city cam this morning, I mean, really in the height of it now through about 730 or 8 o'clock this morning, 59 degrees. The temperature with a southerly wind sustained. These are sustained winds around 31 miles per hour. So it's ultra mild, but it's also very stormy out there. Be careful driving walking limbs and branches uh, certainly coming down right now across the state. We're getting reports of that as well as power lines, some power lines down. Colder air returning. That's the second headline and that threat of some snow. I think light snow uh, as we finish out the weekend. Temperatures right now not feeling anything like the last day of January. It's almost 60 Providence to Smithfield, mid 50s along the Rhode Island coast, 57 New Bedford, 61 in Taunton right now. So 50 to 60, that stormy conditions continuing over the next hour and a half. Future cast for the afternoon though, it's drying out, sun comes back out, still windy in the afternoon. Temperatures fall to about 47. Sharply colder tonight down to 25 degrees. It'll still be brisk feel more like uh, winter and then for your daytime tomorrow much colder only in the 30s and there may even be a flurry around northwest wind still gusting pretty good 10 to 25 miles per hour so the temperatures dropping throughout the daytime today noontime around 51 by 3 in the afternoon we're down to 47 here's what we envision the winds doing through the rest of the morning so again we're seeing those peak winds right now lots of gusts over 50 miles per hour and then as we head later into the morning the wind gusts will drop to about 40 to 45 miles per hour, which is below that damaging criteria that we set here for a high wind warning that's set to expire at 10 o'clock. So by six this evening, though, we're still seeing wind gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour at times, so very windy. The rain moves out by 10 o'clock. We should be back to dry skies, sun back out for the two o'clock time this afternoon. So your seven day future cast uh, temperatures I have again overnight 59 afternoon 47. They'll drop throughout the daytime. Friday is a chilly day at 35. Saturday is cold and bright. And then on Sunday, again, we're watching this offshore storm, cold temperatures, some light snow, and there is at least the potential on Sunday for some small accumulations. Uh, good evening. Probably sit in and watch the Super Bowl, which will be on Channel 12. Monday, back to sunshine. And this is that first week of February now in our seven day future cast. And it looks cold. Temperatures staying in the 30s during the day and 20s overnight. So again, next hour, hour and a half will be through the worst of this storm in terms of both the rain and the wind. So hang in there. If you can, maybe delay your travel this morning. WPRI.com, the place to go to get your updated future cast as well as storm reports and school closings and delays. Let's head out to the highways.